could this be the best ever smartphone adapter for digiscoping? Question mark. Well, to be honest with you, it's the best one I've ever used, and it's from Hawk, their all new smartphone adapter. And when I saw the images, I thought, how on earth does this work? There's no screwy bits, there's no twiddly bits, no things you can turn. Um, looking at the app hole there for your smartphone lens, it's not up in one corner, it seems to be just in the middle. How on earth does this work? Well, I took it out of the box and without actually reading the constructions, which were actually inside the box but I didn't see them, it's the easiest use smartphone adapter I have ever used and if time is an issue setting up then this is the one. So what I'll do now is I'll grab a smartphone and uh, I'll show you how easy it is. So here we are again and here is the smartphone adapter and here is my ultra cheapy cheap smartphone and so what you'll notice is these two bits here that have got like soft padding inside you can open that up for width like normally you'd be turning a little uh, knob there to make that go, go in and out but it's just like spring loaded there so all he says is simply push the smartphone in so then we're turning it around and we're trying to get the camera lens to look through there so basically all I'm doing is just pulling it down a bit excuse me while my hands in the way I'm just pulling it down and you can see it's nearly there so it's a case of just there we go pulling it pushing it into place until and that's all there was to it and so if your your eyepiece your lens in the camera is to one side then you basically just keep moving the smartphone up and down left and right until it gets there and that is very very easy to do and that's all there is to it now with this uh, I'm, I'm quite lucky at the moment uh, it's not pressing any of the on off buttons but you do get these little pads that go on the inside of here that make uh, that sort of um, well it's easier to do than it is explained but basically it, it, it's not pressing onto the buttons on your smartphone and so for the next step I'm going to show you how to connect it to whatever you're looking through. So here we are with the addition of a Hawk Endurance CD 8x42 monocular and so how do we fix this onto there? Well basically as you can see here let's just turn it upside down for a second the outside here look as you press as if by magic the center opens up and so what you do to connect it to the monocular squeeze put the eyepiece in let go that's it it's as simple as that and so I guess in theory you can turn it and do landscape as well so how to show you that again just so pressing the outside here over the eyepiece clamp let go done how simple was that and so we'll just uh, connect it all to a tripod and let's uh, have a look through the eyepiece so welcome back and excuse the traffic noise and wind noise if there is any in the background but we're now uh, looking outside and so what we're looking at here is uh, some roses in my garden through the smartphone connected to the monocular with the Hawk smartphone adapter and so what we're looking at is those roses in the centre of the view there get it focused and then with the view for the smartphone you get that and with the smartphone what I've done is I've, I've actually cropped in a little bit just to get rid of that vinaigrette in and so the, and the results you'll get through your um, uh, branded name smartphone will be much much sharper than this and so this will be ideal if there's three or four of you in a bird hide 
and the kingfisher has just landed on its perch and rather than fight over the eyepiece taking it in turns what you can do set up this your smartphone with the hawk smartphone adapter on the hawk monocular or hawk spotting scope etc or whatever spotting scope you've got and you can all view it at the same time while at the same time hitting that record button and taking photographs I mean what's not to like about this adapter so as always thank you very much for watching I hope this helps link to buy in the description from us uh, in the in the description below and uh, we'll see you next time